But to get from that to being really noticed in Hollywood, who was the first person in Hollywood who took notice? Hmm. I have to say Destin. Destin Cretton was, mm-hmm. and that's who directed Short Term 12, mm-hmm. the original, the new one, and Just Mercy that just came out. Um, but he's, yeah, he just, I guess he just saw something. He saw something in me and, and believed in me. And in fact, when I first moved down to L.A., I was pretty much homeless, and I was, like, sleeping out of my car and jumping on couches, and he let me stay on his couch a couple nights and and really allowed me to, because he just believed in me and was, like, you know, I was going on auditions, and I would come back, and I wasn't very good at auditioning, so I was, like, failing auditions back to back, and he's just like, you know, hey, man, I'm here. I, you know, you have my support. So. Wow. What was it about the audition process that didn't sit right with you? I just, I would just always would get nervous. Yeah. Yeah, I would get super nervous and feel judged and feel like people were looking and watching right. and, and breaking me down into particulars. And it's, it's an intimidating space to be no in an kidding. audition room. And so the first one I'd usually book, and then I'd get a call back, and then I'd lose it. Because on the call back, <laughs> especially with, like, commercials, they, like, they make you sign a paper saying, oh, you're going to get, like, $20,000 oh. of this commercial, like, whatever. And that kind of money for me, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> And so, like, going back in, I'd be like, yo, this could change my life. And I was just like, it was overload, information overload, and then I'd mess it up for myself. Until I got to a point where I failed so much that I just said, forget it. And once you throw it out the window, you find your power. Because then it's like, oh, then I realized you don't have to overthink it. You just do it. What was, do you remember the first audition callback that you were calmer? What what was it? It was the Purge Anarchy. Oh, wow. Yeah, when I came into that one. I was just like, I don't care, man. I ain't going to book this anymore. I'm just off to the kid. Yeah. By the and way, then it's I was, a great attitude to go in with. Yeah, and then I was in my comfort zone. So then I just did my thing, and then she was like, but I didn't think it was going to mean anything because I'm like, they always, this is whatever. So I go home, then I get the call, and I'm like, what? what? I don't know. When I got the call, I was like, okay, cool. And then when I hung up, I was like, what? <laughs> Running around, like, it was, I've never been more happy.